Hi and welcome back to Ask NK. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how we can convert a displacement texture or a displacement which we created in Maya using Arnold into a mesh. So today's video is actually a follow-up of a video which I did some time ago, sometime last year, which is displacement in Arnold 5 with Maya and i've also figured out that a couple of people have issues trying to get their displacement working and we're going to look at few of those issues today and see how we can solve them so before we start i would first of all like to address these problems that most people have had or they're still having when working with displacement in maya using arnold so first and foremost, what we'll do, we'll go over to the Mesh tab, or uh, the Shape tab, and under the Arnold Sub tab, we're going to go and play with the height and see how that works. So first things you'll notice is when you enter a number within the height and let's say you're running the Arnold Render View, you don't get to see the Render View update. So the best thing to do is to go around and play with the adaptive error and that would definitely get the render view to update in real time. One of the other ways uh, we're also going to troubleshoot the displacement is I'm going to go over to the Arnold view under the renderer we're going to be able to go through the debugging and turn on the wireframe now with the wireframe turned on it's going to be easier for us to see how much subdivision we are having on our mesh how dense our mesh is relative to what we're using and what the computer is rendering and it is worth mentioning that when you're working with displacement what the computer is actually doing is it's saving you the viewport time or it's uh, saving you not having so much mesh to work with in the viewport why it calculates all of those maps or calculate all of those things during render time and that's why it's very important for you to actually look at the subdivision level and look at the one that works best for you so after that's done it's also advisable for you to check out other debug modes as well and see what works for you just in case you run into errors with that out of the way let's quickly go ahead and create our 3d mesh so we're going to go over to the Arnold tab in our menu bar get down to utilities and click bake from selected now once we click this it's going to prompt us to save our file and by default it's supposed to be an obj file so we're quickly going to save this file as stones create a new folder called export and export this file so the next thing we're going to do is to bring in this mesh that we've exported to compare it with the mesh that we saw within the time we we're playing inside of arnold just to compare these two together and see what they look like one thing to note is that whenever you export these meshes the arnold automatically triangulates them because that is how it seems to understand them let's fast forward into that and go ahead and apply a texture to this and see what it looks like Now there are several reasons that would make you want to actually generate your displacement as meshes. Say for example you want to actually get a particular kind of mesh and you don't have all the time in the world to go ahead and start sculpting them from the beginning. So you can generate those meshes and get uh, something to start working off from. Maybe you want your character, let's say you're working in animation and you want your character to actually react with something that has to do with the material or maybe that has to do with the mesh itself you can go ahead and and create something like this maybe you can move this to modbox zbrush 3d code or whatever sculpting app of your choice or maybe a painting app of your choice say substance or maybe mari and and make further tweaks to this model or maybe the texture that you're using now uh, most people were asking how do you generate your own 
displacement textures or how do you generate other textures now there are several apps out there that can actually help you do this one of the best ones so far that has lasted a very long time is called crazy bump i don't know if they're still in development right now but crazy bump is an amazing app but for this tutorial the app i used for generating the bump and the displacement and every other textures that i'm using for this my app tutorial is the bitmap to is the bitmap to material that is created by Allogometric, the guys that owns Substance. So I would advise you to look at that and see how that helps you in your next project as it is free and it is easy for you to use it. And so guys, if you love this video and you learned something from me, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed already. And also don't forget to turn on the notification icon so that you get updates next time we we'll upload a new video and there are other videos in this channel that you may find interesting don't forget to check them out as well and as always peace